We have a plan. We'll capture a river merchant's caravan and use their tugboat to infiltrate the bridge. But, since the caravan isn't here yet, the colonel gave me the go-ahead to get the passenger carriage Katya told us about. To do that, I first need to go to the terminal and get Crest's railcar from there. It might be a good time to explore the surroundings. I'll just go back on oh, ice. I'd sure like something to chew on right about now. could get me here. <sighs> Shit. I'm just like... <sighs> passing out here. That's no good. Huh? Uh, 
what could it be? Eh, we use a fire. with a fat, juicy hole right about now. <laughs> yeah. I had enough! I give up, man! Like, really!
there! Take this, you fucker! There! Take this, you fucker! I beat him for that! There's no fucking hide and seek! You ain't walking away after I find you because you won't have no fucking legs!
It's no fucking hide and seek. You ain't fucking Jewish. You ain't Jewish. You ain't Jewish. No fucking legs. It's no fucking hide and seek! You ain't walking away after I find you because you won't have no fucking way! There's no fucking way to see it. You ain't fucking way to see it. That's just like a feeling I have. Ha 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 ha. You dumb bitch. I got to get both in my head. Holy shit. There's no fucking hide and seek! You ain't walking away after I find you because you won't have no fucking way!
There's no fucking hide and seek. You ain't walking away. There's no fucking hide and seek! You ain't walking on me! I'm gonna you soon! Don't fret! No fucking way! Shit! Should sit this one out! There's no fucking hiding you sure you choose You ain't walking you away! Because it's the shit you want to be hiding away! <laughs> There's no fucking hide and seek! You are walking away after I find you because you won't catch no fucking way! Fuck this shit, I'm getting down!
There's some fuck over there. Hey, don't shoot me! I give up! You won, man! At least he didn't fucking shoot me on the spot.
There. Look, a heretic. Che, as if we didn't have enough trouble already. I see you are a reasonable man, traveler. You don't point your gun at us, and you seem to respect our faith. Still, we don't have time to talk to you. We are paladins, warriors of true faith, and we are on the trip. We have to triumph over the demons of electricity with faith alone. And that's why we're setting the very symbols around us.
Don't shoot! Don't shoot, please! I don't know anything, it was just a game, like any other, but one of them assholes just had to cheat, and he did pull first, and before I could even say anything, they all opened up! And they all went crazy, I could do nothing, nothing, I'm telling you! I'm no liar, Boba will vouch for me! And just don't shoot! for himself? No, what do I do now? What do I do? I hope he don't shoot me. The bartender is supposed to leave. The bartender always leaves, yes? Yeah, he won't shoot me. No way he would.
<laughs> Look, he's trying to scare us with his weapons. We are paladins. We came here to fight the demons.
Amazing! I knew you had great potential, even back then at the Jammer! Ah, oh, isn't she a beauty? Oh, you can see she's been properly cared for all this time. <laughs> so unlike my poor old girl. I wonder how fast it can go on a straight line, huh? We'll have to ask Chris about that. Though, with all the distraction, is there anything such as a straight line anymore? But he's... Uncle Arthur, will you find my Come teddy? Here. I have something to talk to you about. Teddy? Teddy! Are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy! Mom, Teddy's back! Thank you, Artyom. You oh, do you have are to the say? man. Oh, I am in your you, debt. Oh, thank you, Uncle Artyom. Thank you so much. Hello, Artyom.
You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Uh, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, uh, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, huh? not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. If you find any mods for your weapons, like silencers and stuff, try attaching them right there. The pack has all the tools for that. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. We've been worried here. Anna worried the most, of course. But I told her that the Colonel only sends you on the most important missions, because he trusts you that much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to us. Thank you. You see, it's our carriage from a year ago. So many things happened.
I told her that the Colonel only sends you on the most important missions because he trusts you that much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to us. Thank you. You see, it's our carriage from a year ago. So many things happened. Artyom, we are in position, awaiting orders. I see you. Come up here on the crane. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Huh? Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, 
Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Hey. Good luck, everyone. Hey, what's up there? Stay in the shadow. Who goes? It's just a lost cause, damn God. What was it? Nothing. Not that I'm unhappy about that. I can't say I'm against finding no Who? I guess that was nothing. Nothing there now. Oh, yeah. oh, well. What the hell are you doing? What is it? Huh? What's going on? Over here. I think there's someone. Who goes there?
What? Nothing. Hey. Yeah, as if there'd be anything. Heads up! It's the enemy! Who's that? A bear. Worse. It has. Wait till they go away. Just don't remember when. Hey. <sighs> Nothing. Well, I can live with that. What? What was that? Hmm. Let's see. Posts like this get people killed. Huh? Nothing else. I guess that I was not my job. Yes, looks like he was just the rat or something. Watch out, on your right. Fallen like that down there. Just a stupid gang. Oh, damned idiots dropping their shit everywhere. Something fall down there? It's just a stupid gang. Oh, damned idiots dropping their shit everywhere. What is Steady, that? Those just like in an exercise. I can't take this anymore. 
Near those sandbags. What's that? This place is a total dump. And we're supposed to guard it with our lives? I hate my life. Nope. Not a thing. Huh? Oh well. There are narrow spaces between the cargo. Squeeze through them. I wonder what's better. This smells fine. Well, I can live with that. Hey! Hey, what was that? Lost! You can climb aboard there. I'll distract them. You get on. I didn't wait for them to pass. What the hell are you doing? That shit! I thought I saw someone there. Shit! Possible contact down. See it? What's happening? What's near that crate? Man down, people! Thank you. 
before you hide. the most boring detail possible. Ugh. Well, at least I'm not getting shot at. set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke. You're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. You are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, bled. So, you Artyom, shall funny, we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg! What are you gonna do now? You're already quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your So brothers, why are we here? Roger that, sir. We're on it. Because they have an eye. Just like Father Salandios foretold. Who arrived? Say to the slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. 
but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Oh, all right. Well, a heretic actually arrived right at the term, just like it was foretold. They rang the bell, so our guys took the boats, went there and searched the place. But the heretic just vanished. Not to mention that Katia and her witch spawn escaped in all the confusion. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. You see, so you think they might attack? Simon never came back. All the people like you never come back, brother. The heathens are worse what than the You can't be scared! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Huh? Oh, no. What cat in that storage? What? <laughs> You missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Oh, all right. Well, a heretic actually arrived right at the sermon. Just like it was foretold. They rang the bell, so our guys took the boats, went there and searched the place. But you see, the heretic Simon never back. came back. Not to see him to attack. Holy people like him never come back, brother. And heathens are worse than demons. That's what scares me. I only took it one time. It's all in God's hands. That is true. This will be done. They only have murder on their minds, those heathens. You know, I've been thinking, what do those heretics want here? Gah, they just want to get to the other side, that's all. What's that happening over there? No, nothing. I can't see at all from here. Ah, it's a short walk anyway. Ow! But you missed the morning sermon! I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. No things like Father Celeste. Uh, but it's so like early. Does. Just tell me what uh, he said. Uh, all right. Well, a heretic actually arrived right at the ceremony. Just like it was foretold. They rang the bell, so our guys took the boats, went there and searched the place. You see. But, Simon never came back. <laughs> Holy people like him never come back, brother. And heathens are worse than demons. That's what scares me. I only need to get one demon, but the heathens... It's all in God's hands. That is true. His will be done. They just want to get to the other side, that's all. Then what's the nice over there on the other side? Hey, brother. Everyone is looking for a better life. Which is where? And now the... Why is 
You know, I've been thinking, what do those heretics want here? Ah, they just want to get to the other side, that's all. And what's so nice over there on the other side? Hey, brother. Uh, where are those heathens? I can't wait any longer doing nothing. God, forgive me. Where? Where we are not. Who is it? Huh? Huh? We are the just ones. Who is it? It's not what I meant. Nothing here after all. Better. Why is it better? Well, We're here to explain. Better. What's the point of explaining it to you? You just stand and look around when the heretics might be here already. Everywhere. Look around. Your eyes are young. Shout if you see anything. Got that? Yes. What's not to get? Well, really, why is it so good where the heretics live? Who likes it there? I don't get it. I should have known. I should have known when she told me off. Should have no, done no, her in right no. there. Shield us from the touch of evil. From the breath of evil. And from its temptation. And save our souls the way you saved our lives, to serve your will and confirm your power here on Earth again, just as you have confirmed it in Heaven. And give us strength to triumph over Satan's minions, and to punish us, should we prove unworthy. I'm almost at the goal. Are you all down there? And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived, for the faithful reside here, and the Lord in his mercy and wisdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantius. And so, seeketh the Lord, I will be with you, and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion, provided you reject satanic technology! We reject! And even more so, do you reject Satan deception, that thing they call electric current? They curse it, the enemy cave to the fools! 
so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, <laughs> above God, and more powerful than him. We reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the starfish. Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Oh, the ones who will attack our cloisters. Even with their iron feet standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us steal ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen! Amen! So let your hands slay the enemy's servants with no less or mercy! For we can- The bridge might collapse! You are under the Duke here! We've reached an agreement! They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly! And don't stop! I repeat, do not stop! Over! Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>
Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> It certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Leaving already? Well, go get them, Tiger. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night. Always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything I'm is the same by the, the community. Well, I mean, wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Maestro is about to impress you.
Thank you, Stefan. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sini used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. Quite close if you go in a straight line. But it took us a month. Everything's bombed to rubble out there. Yermak asked me and I told him. Sini used to say there were lots of military factories out there. Not just military, of course. General industry. And now you can't pass through there even with filters. The radiation is so high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow nonstop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there. Because Silentius, at the Skatina, had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then they sent him to do the same. He never came back. Katya, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. What's done is done. <clears throat> <sighs> it kind of got so glum in here. Hmm. Perhaps you, Stepan, could play us something. Sure thing! <laughs> well, what hey, do you Artyom, expect? <laughs> the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the vest yourselves. Come here, Artyom. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Uh, over! This is Colonel Svetoslav Milnikov speaking. 
I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? A deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a Melikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but, as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, uh, we aren't a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6, Alba. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. Uh, K-6, uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters in reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information, uh, but... I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. The minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You are saying, it's all about the results. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Brilkar, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. 
and it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. All right, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and button up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our human and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine! Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. We do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Damn, they've been down in this place. Worse than Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, they're almost there. Oh, no, 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 this is a bad place, no, we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Поехали. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. <coughs> it's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. I never like going on the ground, but this place, man, well, this is completely creeping me up. Why is it so deserted here? No gun emplacements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. We can take the masks off. This place, though, looks kind of abandoned. What are the maintenance people thinking, I wonder? Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, <laughs> so, idiot. You know what? 
There's no need for us all to crowd the government. So you two better stay with Christ. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. At least prepare a speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an all-nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Comrade Minister! Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. <coughs> Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Let me... let me go! You scum! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. 
Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll you excuse beasts. myself. Come here. I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you now. Burn this town to ashes. So that even the dirty fools remain. Now we'll be full again. Good. Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. You, son. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Elevator on the Sam, we can hold up for that long. Wait before the eye. I got a treat for you here, you damn freaks. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Yes, sir. Well done! We can hold up for that long.
like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
You see? Uh, meat got a... Meat! Uh, There's tasty meat here! Uh, you can kill me too like this.
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! Ah! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! D Let just, him go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go! Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. <laughs> 